Hey folks, and good evening. Uh, welcome again to the Morse Summer 21 Adventures Day 39. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. We spent uh, about four hours on the road, two there and two back. Uh, not in the RV, but in the in the toad, in our little Jeep. Uh, you know, as a as a youngster, uh, watching uh, Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon ABC Wide World of Sports, you know, um, I saw this place. And as a kid playing baseball, I wanted to go there. As an adult coaching the little ones, I wanted to go there. Never made it. My team, you know, never made it down to the local. Uh, the teams that I coached in the Little League um, were usually, well, they weren't usually. They were the uh, cast-offs. They were the ones that nobody else really wanted on their team. Okay? But we had fun. <laughs> it, was, it was like Sandlot. Okay, only we weren't successful like they were. <laughs> but our kids had fun, and they knew they were loved, and they learned the game uh, the right way. But I never had a chance to come to where I am now. So as a player, I didn't get to come. As a coach, I didn't get to come. As grandpa, guess what? I made it to Williamsport, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Had a great time. Uh, the museum was closed. Why, I'm not really sure. Okay, I don't know if it was COVID-related or not. Because everything else was open. But, uh, you know, walked around the stadium there, the complex. Uh, they've got a walking, self-guided walking tour that you can do. Um, you know, I've got over, between the pictures that my wife took on the way over there and the umpteen pictures that I took while we were there in Williamsport, not just at the, the stadium, the Lily Complex, but elsewhere. Uh, I have over 175 pictures. All right, remember now, I can only only post 79 plus the video. So what I'll probably do tonight is uh, post the pictures of the Little League stuff and then post pictures of the trip over there and back and maybe some more. Little League stuff mixed in there, depending on how many pictures I have. But anyway, it was a great time. It was. Um, I've got one more place on my on my bucket list as as far as that goes, because I've been to the to the, well, actually I got two. All right, I've got two. Um, I've been to the Little League World Series Complex. It's where it's held every year. It'll be August twenty second this year. Okay, so like twenty nine days. Okay, the league starts. I have been to the Football Hall of Fame, Lord willing, Sunday or Monday. I will be, probably Monday, maybe Tuesday, I'll be in Cooperstown, okay, for the Baseball Hall of Fame. That leaves one more. And I was there this year. I was less than 50 miles and didn't go because we didn't have time. That's Omaha. Okay. And the World Series was going on while we were there. <laughs> we had so many people around us in the campground. I don't remember if I told you this or not, but uh, when we were in, in Nebraska at uh, Victoria uh, Acres, there must have been nine different rigs of Mississippi State parents, fans. One of them's son was a second baseman, or is a second baseman. Okay, and he's retired Marine. Moving to Carolina, no less. Um, but, uh, you know, and we, and we talked for a little bit because he saw my Marine Corps flag and everything. So he came over and talked and then told me his son was playing second base for, and, and they end up winning. But, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go to Omaha um, and I'm, I'm going to go during the World Series. I don't care who's playing. I'm just going to be there. And I don't even care if it's the final game. I want to be there while two teams, college teams, are playing at home. Hopefully it'll be 
the Pirates of East Carolina. Just saying. Okay. Go Pirates. Arrgh. Anyway, hey, we were at the Little League World Series today, the complex, and they're getting everything right. I mean, it looks beautiful. The uh, gift store was open. Yes, we went to the gift store. I didn't know I did not get a T-shirt. I got me a polo shirt instead. <laughs> And I, you know, I all I went in there was for a couple of postcards. Honest, that's all I was going in there for, and I couldn't resist it. I mean, <laughs> what can I say? You know, Mama slapped my hand because I was a bad little boy. <laughs> she paid the bill, okay. Um, but you know, today was a great day. You know, over there it was it was warm. It was it was really a beautiful day. You know, they've had uh, 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 um, um, rain here for like two weeks uh, the friend of mine that i posted yesterday you know mark they've lost uh, about half their uh, raspberries due to the rain you know um and today and yesterday and today had been been beautiful uh, we noticed chrissy made a comment even uh, when we were coming back you know from williamsport you know everybody was out mowing the yard and it's probably because it's the first chance they've had <laughs> in two weeks to get out there and get their yards mowed but it was good. It was a good day. Good travel. And that little old Jeep, it just kept on going, you know. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to try to find this uh, viaduct that was built, I believe it was in 1840. And you're thinking, well, you know, what's up, what's up with all these viaducts? You know, I mean, yesterday, oh, and today we got some more pictures of that one from yesterday over in Nicholson. Uh, oh, wow. And it's not that I'm really all that, but you know these are two structures, one built in, in from 1912 to 1915. It was dedicated in 1915. Construction started in 1912, so it was basically built um, during World War One. The other one that we're hoping to see tomorrow was built in 1840. All right, so you know, and they're still being used today. And that's that's the question that Mark posed, and that's what I posed last night. You know, something that's built that long ago and still being used today, and they can't build a road that'll last more than 50 years. They can't build a, a small little bridge that can't last more than 50 years. What's the deal, you know? So, anyway, hey, that's on the agenda for tomorrow. And for today, you know what's next. Our scripture, okay? And and this scripture, folks, um, it's tough. It's really tough. Okay. I mean, I admit it. It's, it's tough for me. All right. Because Christian means Christ-like. Okay. So here's what Christ tells us. But love your enemies. Do good. And lend. Hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be the sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the unthankful and evil. We're supposed to love our neighbor. You know, remember he tells us, love your neighbor as yourself, okay, as I loved you, even before you become one of mine, right? But love your love your enemies, do good, and lend, hoping for nothing in return. I've got no problem with that, okay? I don't like the limelight. I don't like to be recognized for that good and that lending hand and stuff. That's, I mean, if you want... Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take the praise, all right? But I don't do it hoping for praise, hoping for recognition, because I know the Lord sees what I'm doing and my reward's going to be in heaven whether I'm rewarded here or not, you know? And and, and, and Christy is the same way. You know, we, we do things within the church that, and, 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 and for people that we would just soon just just do it and let it go without being, you know, but some people won't let it go, and they have to make you know, make sure that we are are recognized, and that's that's fine. That's for them. That's for them, okay? Because Christy and I both know, ours is going to be in heaven, all right? You know, so do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great. Yes, I know it will be, because I'll be in hell in the streets of glory, and he'll be, and you will be the sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful, and the evil, and that's what I have a problem with, you know. Love your enemies, 
and then be kind to the unthankful and evil. Jerry just raises up and gets that ugly thought, you know, and it's like, mm, you know, it ain't a good thing. It ain't a good thing. But as being a Christian, remember saying Christ-like, you know, we are to strive to do that. It doesn't mean they're always going to be successful, but we're to, supposed to strive to do that. You know, the best way is to pray. Say, Lord, give me the strength. Holy Spirit, guide me. Help me, because you know it ain't in me. It's got to be in God. It's got to be in Christ. So help me do this. And then you can get away with it. I mean, get away with it. Yeah, you can get through it. You can get over yourself, and it can be done. All right, that's that's what I mean. You can get over yourself. Um, you know, but love your enemies, do good, land, and hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful and the evil. That's a mouthful, folks. I'm telling you. That is, for he is kind to the unthankful and the evil. That is a mouthful. You know, just think about what's going on in the world today. Okay, and I ain't talking about just the United States. I'm talking about, you know, look at the Christians in in in, in uh, Nigeria and Ethiopia. You know, uh, that uh, Boga, whatever it is, is, Muslim group that's that's, you know, taking captive all the young Christian girls and killing the the men and that, uh, you know, and and just doing horrendous things to them, you know, because they're because they're Christians, you know. Um, here in America, you know, if 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 you claim Jesus Christ, some people just lose their mind because you don't agree with their whatever. Okay, I ain't got to agree with it, you know. I got to love them as the individual, not their deeds, not their lifestyle, but love them because Christ said to, and let God deal with them. I ain't got to deal with them. All right, I I have friends that that are of a lifestyle that I do not approve of, but they're my friends, and I love them as the individuals. Okay, and I don't condemn them, I don't judge them, I don't get all in their face about it. All right, that's not my job. That's the Holy Spirit's job, okay, to convict them. All right, my job is to show them the love of Jesus Christ and accept them for who they are. Okay, I can do that. Now, somebody who's really mean and ugly, uh, that's where I have a problem. Lord Jesus, help me. Hey, folks, uh, I'm getting notices here on my phone, so I'm going to have to get it on the charge. Uh, God bless you all. And we will come to you again tomorrow from right here. Uh, we're in the uh, uh, Shady Rest Campground in Uniondale, Pennsylvania, just south of uh, Gibson. Uh, and two hours and 15 minutes east of Williamsport. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.